The stunning landscape of the Meteora monasteries lies in the center of the Greek mainland. In the valley of the Pindos River lie the settlements of Kastraki and Kalambaka. High above them hover the monasteries on immense natural pillars and rounded boulders. The campsites in the villages are a good start to explore the monasteries. Nice cafes and restaurants invite their guests with typical Greek food. Cheap public transport will take you up to the monasteries. In 1344, Athanasios from Mount Athos brought a group of followers to Meteora. The monastery of Great Meteoron is the largest of the six still existing monasteries of originally 24. It was erected in the mid 14th century. Access to the monasteries was very difficult until the first half of the 20th century. Long ladders or large nets were required to haul up both people and goods. Today, steps cut into the rocks provide a more secure access. Taking videos or photos inside the Katholikon, the main church, is not allowed. The old kitchen and storage rooms can be visited. The monastery of Valam is the second largest monastery and seven monks still live there. It was built in 1541 and is dedicated to all saints. Only in 1923 the 195 steps were carved into the rock to allow access to the monastery. Until today, goods are hauled to the monastery by rope.
As in most of the Orthodox churches, taking videos is only possible from the outside. The main church of Valaam is built in the Cretan style. The rope winch gives you a good idea of how people and goods were hauled in former times. My favorite is the tiny Rusanu Monastery, situated on a spectacular rock pillar. It was probably built in the late 13th century. Today it is a flourishing nunnery with 13 nuns. Climbing the ladder required quite a leap of faith. The wooden steps were replaced, so the story goes, only when the Lord let them break. Agios Stephanos is the oldest monastery built in 1192 high above the Pinaios River at the northwestern edge of the plain of Thessaly. Abandoned in the 1960s, it is a nunnery of 28 nuns today. The view from the terrace onto the Pinaios Valley and Kalambaka is spectacular. The small church was built in 1501 and shows delicate paintings inside. The fondly nourished gardens with its beautiful flowers show the caring hands of the nuns. The Monastery of the Holy Trinity, Archia Triada, was built in the 15th century. It became quite popular because of the James Bond movie For Your Eyes Only in 1981 with Roger Moore as the main character.
four monks run the monastery on the 565 meters high rock. Meteora means lofty or elevated, which indeed is true when you enjoy the view from the height above the valley. avoid the masses of tourists, it's best to come here with the earliest bus of the public transports. A ticket only costs 1 euro 50 or a day's ticket is 5 euros 50. Thousands of tourists visit Meteora every day. That is one of the reasons many monks have left this place. <laughs> when you leave the bus at the monastery of St. Nicholas Anapausas, not far from the village of Kastraki, you can have a nice walk through the forest to abandoned old monks' caves. Usually you are all alone on the path. The wooden remains give you a good idea how difficult it had been for the monks to live a life far away from other people. Every 23rd of April, young people from Kastraki climb the steep walls of St. George's Cave on a rope. The custom goes back to Ottoman times when a Muslim man chopped trees near St. George's Hermitage and was seriously injured. His wife offered St. George the only valuable she had, a colorful headscarf. After a few days, her husband recovered from his injuries. Since then, young boys and girls climb up the ropes to offer colorful headscarves to honor the St. George miracle. They believe that St. George the Mandilas will help them to maintain good health throughout the year and of course to have fortunate marriages. No serious accident has ever happened during the last 300 years. After the climb, people move to Kastraki Square where there are ritual dances which are accompanied only by the singing of the dancers. <laughs> 